Right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually get data that you request um, on the seller API using key off. Um, so basically, it's just if you add a license, then once you generate the license, it will tell you what license you created. Um, and same with like if you do an application variable, anything like that, that you have to do that actually doesn't sh like give a response at the end. I'm just going to show you like probably the easiest way of doing that. Um, so before we actually get started, one, you have to make sure that you already have a seller plan for a key auth. If you don't, it's only $19.99 um, a year, which isn't bad at all. Um, and then you can just go to the key auth settings and all the way down at the bottom on the left panel, you will see seller and then you'll click on no settings and it will give you the key that you need. Um, I believe I already have a video on that, so I'm not going to go through that process um because it's just unnecessary um, but in the application i already have my seller key set um using the properties so you will have to you can set it either way you can set it just using the link or you can set it like how i have it um and I, if you don't know how to do this then you should probably just add it in the link make it way easier um or again watch the other video that i set up so getting started, um, we need to make a static string, and this static string is basically what is what we're going to use to get the data um, or the key, and we'll just name this return key. Pretty simple. Um, and now we're just going to make a string, and we can call this string key. Um, and this key is going to equal nothing at the moment because we don't really have anything that's in it. Um, and now we'll be trying um, the actual request itself. Um, so before we move on, come up here to project and down to manage NuGet packages. Make sure that the package source is set to all. And then in browse, you just want to type in leaf.x.net. I already have it, but it's going to be this one right here with an, a leaf. And then just click install. Um, and that is all that you need. Well, actually, you also um, need newtonsoft.json. So make sure that you get that one as well. Um, and now back to the code. So try, now we're going to make a variable, and this variable is just going to be request, I guess, and we're just going to be making a new HTTP request. And this is what we will need to actually retrieve the data. Um, and now we're going to make a, another variable, we can just call this URL, and this is going to be, the URL is going to equal the request and the request is going to be getting um, the actual seller link that we need. So we'll go back and we'll input that when we're done with the rest of the code. Um, now we need to make a string, we'll just call this string x, not that, x, and this will equal the URL dot to string. So it's getting the data from it and it's sending it to a string. Um, and right now it's going to be in JSON uh, format, so we actually need to break it down so it shows in a text format, um, like a raw text instead of a JSON because JSON's annoying. So now that we have that, we need a dynamic. Um, and now this dynamic, again, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it keys. Make sure that you don't try and match anything just because it causes confusion. Um, and now this key is going to equal to the JSON convert. I knew how to spell convert, sure you're not. And what we will be doing with this is we are deserializing an object. Um, and the object that we will be deserializing is X. which is, you know, pretty uh, pretty simple. So it's getting the, the string and it's deserializing it since it's JSON. Um, 
and now here we're going to do key and then this key is going to equal the link so we'll actually get the link now so we'll just go ahead and copy this and we're going to put this in now I I just have to change a few things again you can do it this way um, where you can do it a totally different way if you want to um, but mine is is it seller? I already forgot what it is. Uh, just seller. Okay. Well, if it's not going to work like that, then we'll do property settings that default. That's my seller key. That's easier to set up. It's because it's outside of the actual string itself. So if I were to add that down here, then it would be different. But we'll just leave it there because I need it up there. Um, so here it is, the request. It gets my key. And then it sets the custom mask. I'm just going to change this mask because I don't freaking need it that large. Um, we'll just do... Simple enough. And now, just to restart it, I'm going to do key and then plus equals. Um, and now just do keys, dots. And now here, you actually have to put this like exact part. So whatever this is, um, you know, you put here and then dot key. So actually, let me change that. Since this is already the request, we need this to be different. Um, so it's going to be the dynamic name right here and then dot key. Um, just make sure you actually know what you're doing. And then I'll just close that out. And that's pretty much all for that part except for we need to return that and then we can come down here and catch and then the catch is just going to be the um, HTTP exception and we can just do EX for that and then we'll just return an error which is Actually, just to make it more simple, we'll actually return the error itself um, as well as the exception. So, it's a little bit more simple. So, now I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to grab a button. And down here, I'm just going to change this to gen key. And now on the gen key, I'll just double click it. And I'm going to do string dot gen key. You can name this whatever you want. Um, it's going to equal return key. And then we'll just do message box dot show key created. And then we'll just that's and then plus gen key. It's pretty simple. Um, so now if we actually build this, succeeded, come over to the seller panel. My license, click on gen key, and my key was curated, um, as simple as that. So, I mean, it's a really simple setup, um, there really isn't much to it. Um, now, the only reason that you actually needed 
where was it? Oh, the dot key is because that's what the JSON actually shows. So actually, let me see. I'll come over here. Uh, copy this, put that in over here. Copy my color, paste that in, and, s and set it. And then you get this, it's in JSON. And as you can see, this is what we need we need the key from the JSON. Um, so that's why it can't be anything else. So if you were to change it to like like key S or key one two three, it won't work. So you just have to make sure it's set like this. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much the initial setup. Um, there and again, you can do it to anything that you need to get um, that doesn't show. Um, even like the um, like the fetch all licenses. This method would come in handy a lot for this. Um, I think just the only difference is that that one actually has like a separate category that it like separates everything in like who it created um, like who created it the expiration and all that but besides for that it's pretty much the same concept um, if you have any questions or you actually want to see something different just comment down below um, and I'll try to make it whenever I get the chance but as always don't forget to like comment share and subscribe